Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and welcome to another episode of Solar Nations Part 4. Why is that glowing? Why can't I keep that from not glowing? Why is that glowing? Oh, there we go. Alright, so we're still trying to get Tundra data and then Badland data. So let's go ahead and get right to it then because we need that science. Launch. Oh, 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 we have an emergency. We have an emergency. Okay. All right, all right. Don't worry. We trained for this. We're good. Uh, I think I accidentally hit the space bar and messed everything up. So let's go ahead and abort. There we go. <laughs> wow. Whoops. All right, so I went back to the drawing board and I actually changed up a few things. I went ahead and uh, changed the differences, the different angles of the parachutes that were in the core middle. And there's an actual parachute inside of this uh, of this nose cone. And uh, that's pretty much all I changed up. Huh? Made it a little bit closer together, but hopefully the nose cone will help cut through the atmosphere a little better, and we won't have any uh, problems. All right, so. SAS. Let's go to about two thirds power and launch. All right, we're at seventy one thousand meters high for our apoapsis. About 20 seconds out, let's go ahead and use up the last of this stage now. Eh, heck, screw it. Ooh, 70, uh, that's, that's fine, that's fine. That looks, that looks actually a little, a little neater, a little nicer. Hit the zero key, see what happens. Ah, <laughs> All right, now, let's get that elusive tundra. All right, so we have about 526 meters per second delta V left. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here, add maneuver. This has got to work. Oh, I hope this works. Man, I hope that's right. There really is no turning back now. And go, full power. Okay, stage. Looking good. We should land right about here. Activate making uh, activate makeshift air brakes. That's the that is not the air brakes. The other one, please. There we go. Whoa. Ah, nuts. Are we really going to land on shores? Come on. Don't aim for the water. Don't aim for the water. Alright, come on. Come on a little further back. A little further back. Come on. Oh, please, 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 please. Yes, it looks like we're going to get Tundra data. I sure hope so. Slow down, slow the hell down. <laughs> Still unsafe to deploy. Alright, safe to deploy, but not yet. Well, actually, no. Right now. I want to slow down even more. I don't want to go any further. Are we over Tundra? Let me see. Crew port. Yes! Tundra, baby! Finally! Finally! We'll keep that. All right, coming up close. Go ahead and deploy. Ooh, something exploded. Go ahead and deploy secondary chutes. Very good. And plop. Very nice. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, now let's get some goo data. EVA and uh, 
surface sample. There we go. All right, awesome. So from the spacecraft itself, we got 1.7 science. And of course, uh, the Kerbal by himself was 1.1 science. So that bumped us up a little bit. Let's see if we um, let's see if we have enough to maybe upgrade our equipment. Choices, choices, choices. Hmm. Choices, choices. This is definitely going to be a. These right here are going to be a, a big, big must if we're going to be able to go to uh, the moon, because we need something to tie the craft together, as well as launch it, because it's going to be a big craft. So I'm thinking that that's going to be our next. Yeah. That's going to be our next one, general construction. Now, if we can get this bad land data, then we are set. We can go ahead and just focus on small little rockets to get the rest of the data that's already around Kerbin, being the uh, mountains, uh, desert, and a few other areas that are already around Kerbin. So we don't have to have a big, massive rocket. We can just get a small little thing and fly it over there. But if we can get this... The hardest thing right now is trying to get this Badland data because the Badlands are scattered, scattered all over the place like you wouldn't believe. All right, here we go. And launch. All right, we're in space. Let's go ahead and try to get that tundra. No, no, no. Badland data. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a good time for me to talk about something called TAC Life. I've been really, 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 really looking at it, and it's a really good possibility that I actually might use it. The only reason is, is that a lot of people did come up with uh, a good, um, a good scenario to where. What happens when I have a, a hundred different spaceships for, let's say, Duna, Duna's fleet and Kerbin's fleet and Jules' fleet and space stations and everything else? How am I going to fix all that? How am I going to make that happen? And uh, it will get to that point. I mean, this isn't this isn't your typical. Let's just launch from Kerbin only, go around the solar system. This is colonizing, you know, the solar system and having factions break out and different nations rising. And to, to power and you know there's gonna be squabbles there's gonna be war there's gonna be uh, alliances it's gonna be uh, really cool I was originally thinking about just making in-game rules with uh, different types of fuels and whatnot and and pretending that this is food and this is food and whatnot but uh, I would like to I'd like to hear what you guys have to say so anyway let's go ahead and try to get to the Badlands now we're nowhere near the Badlands right now except for right here but I'm gonna wait till this big giant blotchy thing gets in our way first. Alright, so it looks like one more orbit. That way we have a better chance of hitting it. Oh dear. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna miss it completely. Well, that sucks. Damn. Looks like we're gonna have to make a few more orbits till we get it just right. Wait a minute. Wait, a, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Right here. Uh, what's, what's, what's our data look like? No, 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 go away, hyperedit. it. I don't need you. I don't want you. Five, six, five, six, one. All right. Add maneuver. Bring it down. One. All right, bring it down like this. Oh, boy, it looks like we're just about ready for it. I think. I think that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just might have it. I need to turn around right now. I can't see nothing. 11 second burn. In seven seconds. Not yet. Full power. Man, I hope this works. This would be great if it actually worked the first time. Alright, eject. Deploying makeshift air brakes. Alright. Here we go. Okay, we should be good. Should be good. Come on. I don't think we're going to make it. Nope. I don't see this happening. I do not see this happening. Maybe we can get some flyover data, though. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. That's the, um, that's the eject, the, the stage that we ejected is burning up and blowing up. See how it got lighter? Now it's going behind us. Oh, we might, we might just get the data that we want. Oh, we land right on that pink and red stuff, I bet you. Okay, come on, let's get the flight data while we're doing this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Flight data, flight data, 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 crew data, crew report. Badlands, there we go. Now, um, unsafe to deploy, we have to wait. Safe. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna deploy all of them. Slow down even more. I think we might actually do this. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. I can't see anything. I can't see a darn thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go into Camtasia. I'm going to lighten this all up so we can see it better. But I can't see anything. I'm just I'm just hoping and praying that that I'm somewhere. <laughs> it's pitch dark. I can't see anything. Okay, let's get rid of this. And right now I'm looking at my altitude terrain 1000. This is true terrain. This is uh, sea level, this is true, so it's about 900. Oh, I heard the parachutes go. Wait a minute, I see something. Okay, I see the ground. I see the ground now. Looking good. Looking good. And touchdown. How be damn. Let's get all the goo information. EVA. Well, actually, no. Let's, let's wait till uh, morning. Oh, well, it's not morning, but yeah, hey, check it out. Nice. Oh, wow, that is, oh, wow, cool. We, oh, man, we almost nailed the mountains and that water. Man, we were so close to losing it. <laughs> Whoa, we, we landed right in the middle. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop that right here because I'm all out of time. But that means that all we have to do now is just build little tiny little little tiny little uh, rockets to get the rest of the data and then we can focus on getting to that moon. I'm going to try something new. Um, if you liked this, I don't want to sound like other YouTubers, you know that? Every YouTuber at the end of every video are saying, well if you like this video give it a like and share it with all your friends. I was thinking about trying that but... I don't know, does that sound tacky? You, let me know in the comments below. If not, then I'll start adding it to every ending of every video I ever make. If if it is kind of tacky, then I'll probably just leave it alone and do what, I, do what I've been doing since the beginning of time. Alright, well ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your support on Patreon, Twitter, and Facebook, and in the comments below. I am Veos Human, signing off, and have a good night.